there is another chapter in that ongoing battle affecting many of you, that purple line out in Maryland. Yeah, it's another lawsuit challenging the 16-mile route, which is designed to ease congestion. Now, Brianne Carter is live in Silver Spring to explain what this new litigation is trying to protect. Well, Brad and Juby, good morning to you. Certainly the Purple Line has been something talked about for decades. And now, over the past couple of years, we've heard more about the opposition from certain groups here in Montgomery County and word about a possible lawsuit. Well, ABC 7 News has now learned, in fact, that a lawsuit has been filed. Now, the Friends of the Capitol Crescent Trail, as well as some Montgomery County residents filing this suit, hoping to halt the proposal of the Purple Line, which would connect Bethesda to New Carrollton. Now, the lawsuit alleges that proposed Purple Line currently in place would harm areas along the trail, including Rock Creek and Coakland Run, where two species of shrimp-like creatures called amphipods live. Now, the group filing the suit is asking the Federal Transit Administration, as well as the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Secretaries of Interior and Transportation to find alternatives to the proposal currently designated for that Purple Line route that runs between Bethesda and Silver Spring. They say that specific area is where those tiny freshwater invertebrates have been found and they believe that they've been found nowhere else in the U.S. but right there in that area. Now according to reports the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service already has said that the rail line's construction would not harm this endangered species. State officials have said that they hope this 2.37 billion dollar project will get underway starting construction sometime in 2015. Reporting live in Silver Spring, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.